today on Practice Strokes, we are going to use floating medium and some colors from the multi-surface line of paints. Now what I have, you can work on multi-surface glass, metal, ceramic, but what I wanna share with you is that I put out some colors and what I'm doing now, I've got citrus and I <laughs> couldn't get out of the bottle, so I got in two places, sap green, worker white, violet pansy and blue um, cobalt U. Floating medium is in the middle. That's the bottle I was showing you, the floating medium. And then I'm gonna pounce to spread it out, okay? So now what I wanna share with you is I'm using this gray scale paper and it has from white to different shades of gray, all the way dark gray, all the way to black, all right? And I love these sheets, okay? There's 15 in them in a package. And you guys always ask what paper I use. Now, I want to take and sketch out something um, that I want to share with you today. And we are going to take and do some floating and some watercolor effects that we're going to get to by using uh, the floating medium. Okay, so I want you to see that I am going to take out my pencil, especially when you do a watercolor effect. You, I'm going to come a little bit lower. You're going to see that we can pull these colors in here and having the pencil line in there is really going to help you. And a little bit of a leaf and another leaf. It doesn't have to be great. You just want to lay it out. Okay, this is going to be a large eye green drop and this is going to be a light color. Okay, so you pencil it out and most of this is gonna be covered so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is some background colors. So I'm gonna take, I guess some of my medium one out there. I'm gonna take the medium, work it in. And uh, first of all, on the bottom areas, I'm gonna or kind of around it. I'm going to take that medium and come right in to this porous paper. Okay, so then I can take and add medium. See, the more medium I add, the lighter it gets. Now you can use water, but the medium helps you control it a little bit more. Okay, so I know I'm going to have a leaf there, so I can have a little bit of that green around there. So I want it a little bit deeper against the flowers. See a little deeper in there and in here maybe around, all right? So then I pick up the medium and make it move. See, slip, slap, slip, slap, but that's just medium. The paint's already there, so you see? I'm just gonna show you that this is, you don't have to have a lot of talent to make this happen and look good. So see, I put heavier paint against it in a few places and just went back and forth, back and forth with medium to make it move, all right? Now see, we can make a beautiful greeting card this way and it's quite easy, all right? So what's gonna happen inside this white hydrangea, the white hydrangea, I'm gonna add some white in here, just like this. I have to put the green because the paper's white, all right? So that's gonna be the white hydrangea. And then we're going to come in here and I'm going to use some white and blue because a lot of hydrangeas are blue. And then we can come in with the purples. Now, see, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the cobalt blue, wipe my brush off to get some of the white out of it. And then there we go. All right. So we're just going to come in here. Okay, now this is gonna help you see where this flower is gonna be. And so I do want some darker parts to it, but if I just want you to see, I'm getting medium and cobalt. Make it darker over here. Okay, and the green did come in here a little bit. So I can make it a little bit darker on that side. Okay, 
So now you see we already just have some shading. The edges are not supposed to be perfectly round. All right, so while I've got this blue, I'm gonna wipe that blue and I'm going to go into right here. I'm gonna get both colors. I split the brush in my double loader, go to both colors, work them in. And I'm gonna keep getting medium so that it won't be like a heavy paint. All right, so let's do a small one here. See, I'm gonna do that on the edge. I'm gonna come get more citrus. Okay, so watch this. I'm just filling in where I penciled that. Okay, I'm gonna pick up, like, you can get a lighter color if you do citrus and white. I'm sorry, see that got some medium in there. So look, and then we're gonna pull the stem from up underneath. And then right here is going to be a bigger leaf. I'm going to put some citrus, a little bit of sap. Little smooth stroke. Come again. And I still want some more white. See, and we're just filling in. So let's turn it around this way. And we're going to come right in here. I restroke so I get more of that sap. Okay. So we put that sap in the middle. And that sap goes all the way up to that blue. And then we're going to pull this down. There we go. All right, so then we'll put some little hydrangea strokes on here, but let's look again. All right, a little bit of sap, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of white. The white's just to lighten that a little bit, then more medium. So I'm going to come right in here. Look, we can just make that stroke like that, but it just needs something brighter out here. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna pick up more citrus and turn this around. Now, when I did that more citrus, I can bring that over there too. A little bit more white on here. See, I'm just stroking that white on the outside edge and then pull a stem in there. All right, so I can come back and lighten this one too if I want to, just a little bit. All right, so we have our, look, let's darken this one in the middle. I got a shadow on my hand. And a little bit dark on this side. There we go, see that brings, I'm gonna go ahead and darken that and then re-stroke re the stem. So see, I can do that. Just like that, and it was a stem end just by the edge of the brush. But we can also come in here. All right, I wanna see you guys work on doing one of these little quickie pictures, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do now is get my 12 flat. I wet it, work it into the paper towel, and then I'm gonna pick up, I have a little bit of citrus in here and then just pick up the white. So we're gonna come right in here and we're going to slip slap the corner. So look, I'm on the corner and it's like I'm sweeping and I keep picking up white. And so we're just putting little bits of white in with that citrus green. Okay. Okay. So we're not really doing exact strokes. We're just slipping back, slipping, slapping back and forth. I'm going to put a little bit of white that are 
into these other colors. Are you liking that yet? I want you to see we're just going for effect. We put a little bit of color in the background with lots of medium. Okay, so see that color? When you get closer, you might want to bring a few heavier pieces of white paint, strokes of white paint on top. Okay, so now let's come in here. So I'm going to, I have some white left on here still. I'm going to fold this over so you can see I got a little bit more white. Oops, I really got to clean out that green. I don't want that green in there. We can have a little bit of green, but not that much. Okay, so I'm picking up the blue and then stroking white. Okay, so I'm just getting darker and darker blue. And then I'll start working purple in there. I'm sweeping the corner. So just sweeping this color, we're going for a very quick effect, makes a really pretty little greeting card. And I cut these, I take and fold it in half. I find envelopes at Walmart or stores that, that this would fit into. And there's one that if you take a standard piece of paper and fold it in half, it fits in one of the envelopes that Walmart sells and the office department, office supplies. Okay, so now let's bring in some purples. I'm gonna bring a little bit of white into that purple. And then what's happening is that I'm just coming right in here. You might not want the purple, but I thought adding some purple in here. We could use dioxazine purple instead of the violet pansy, but if you add a little bit of white to the violet pansy, it'll pop in here. Okay, just mix that into the blue and there you go. So I hope you like that. It's just a quick little, you can do this um, stroke. Showing you, you lay it out with your pencil first, and then you're gonna come in here and just add some pretty colors, whatever flower you want, lots of medium to lay it out, and then come back and add some depth, okay? And you sign it and you're done. So I'll see you next week. Please share, please subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll catch every one of these. And check out my video about my One Stroke Advantage. So that's $9.99 a month. And you get four um, lessons from me during the month. Four plus more. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm going to put a little curly cue in here. And you got to practice curly cues. I show you some of those in some of the tutorials. So go check them out. If you don't like your shape of your leaf, you can come in here and get a nice tip, or you can take and do a curl, and you can learn those right on one of these tutorials. So go check it out. All right. Thank you very much. And this is during the holiday season, so I want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.